Hi, I'm Carol Berkman and welcome to my YouTube channel. I do acrylic pour paintings on this channel. I do other paintings as well, but this YouTube channel is specifically for acrylic pour paintings. Please watch. You might find it very informative and fun. And if you like what you see, give me a like, share it, and subscribe. It's free. Hi, Carol Berkman here, Carol's Art Creations. So today I have a nice thick canvas. It's a small one. It's an eight by 10 or a 20.3 times 25.4 centimeters. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I have allergies. I've taped off the back. I so need to spritz the back with water. Spritzing the back with water will cause that canvas to tighten. Just give that a minute. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Anyway, this is made by Dowler and Rowney. And this is one of their better quality ones. And you can see how it kind of goes over the sides. And it had a thick wood here, which I've taped off. Got my push pins. Now I'm taut like a drum. Excuse me. <clears throat> Got a little tickle in my throat. <clears throat> Got my wine here. Mm. This is not straight wine. It's got uh, sparkling water in the wine. Because that would be way too much to drink. It's more in the serving. So I put the water in it. That way I can have more than one. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to do a Dutch pour, so I am going to get ready and pour some white, tilt it off, and then I've got this spinner, just a little cake spinner. It spins quite fast, so I'm going to have to go slow. That's why I've got the smaller canvas, because I don't want to sling the paint all over my walls or myself. This fits on it. I can give it a gentle spin. We'll see how far the paint slings. <laughs> so it'll be fun. But I'm going to get my white base coat down. And this is just my house paint a Glidden interior satin mixed with GAC 800 some Liquitex heavy body gel, which is like a glob. You have to mix with water to thin it. That gives it a, a glossier look. And GAC 800, I think I said that already. But I'm gonna give this a stir. There is a little bit of the steel water in here to thin it. Let me check that consistency. It feels thick. Yeah, maybe a little thick. I'm gonna thin that with just a bit of water. And I started using the distilled water because I was having issues with my paint crumbling and so I'm not using the most premium quality paints. I have started using a little bit better paints, but let me pour this real slowly. That was about a quarter teaspoon. You really don't want to add too much. Probably should have done this before I started recording. I don't know what happened there, but my GoPro started beeping. I said one of those keywords that I shouldn't have said. OK, 
Okay, that is better. So I'm gonna move my canvas over here, flood it with the white, tilt it, and put it on here. Put my colors on and my cell activator. I'm gonna use my hair dryer. I have my airbrush gun if I need to. Gonna take my fingers and rub my sides. Quick way to just get the sides coated. You can even pick up some of your paint, which is good. We always want to conserve our paint. I think that's pretty smooth, pretty good. So good. Okay, I'm gonna bring my little cake spinner to about right here. This is an old tablecloth. I've been meaning to change it out. The fact that paint will get long on it is okay with me. I've got it covered with a little aluminum foil. Let's give this a test. I really don't want to spin it too much more than that. We'll see how that goes. Footing slid off. Okay, so I've got folk art colors, metallics, I've got amethyst, gold, glitter white, sage green. I mix this with uh, glue and water, uh, the Elmer's glue all and water. 65-35% on the glue, 65% glue, 35% water. And then I mix this one-to-one, -one, but I put a little of the folk art pouring medium in it. So it's about one and a half to one. But the consistency is thin. I'd say it's a one. And so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put some cell activator on it. I'm gonna blow it and then I'm gonna spin it. Okay, so we're good on that. Start out with a little bit of amethyst in the center. About that much. Teaspoon and a half, fish, I don't know. I just eyeball it. Now if you've watched some of us artists, you know we do that a lot. You can get a scale and measure in grams or milliliters, and that's probably a, a more precise way to do it. And I am not that scientific. Although I did work as a computer programmer analyst for a while. This is a little of the glitter white. I hope I'm not putting too much paint on here. Okay. 
I'm going to move these cups out of the way so when I get to blowing, I won't accidentally blow these off the table. So that would be bad news. Okay. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this on the outside. So the paint will carry it. And here is my cell activator. This is the Amsterdam paint. Finally got that on Amazon, yay. This is the black. Mix three to one with Floetrol. And I hope I got this right. A little bit of black in the center for the cells. Moving my drink of wine as well. Let me grab my blow dryer. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on and go down, around, and then spin it. Cut it on low heat. I'm going to turn it on high, so cranking up the blow dryer now. So hopefully I can lightly spin it as I'm pointing it downward. So wow. I'm going to use my airbrush gun a little bit. It's just an airbrush, it's not a gun. All right, I'm going to get this a little spin. Let's go back the other way. lacing from the black Amsterdam paint. Other paints mixed with glue and water. They really don't have the cell action that happens unless just a few get created from just the sliding of the paint. But yeah, I'm really loving that cell activator. It actually is a lighter color black. It's not like a deep dark black. So it kind of blended with the green. It's like a dark black green, which I love. But yeah, I'm liking that. Cool. That was quick, fun, and beautiful. I'm definitely gonna do some more of these smaller ones or less paint a lot quicker. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was a Dutch pour and a spin. You can do a Dutch pour without spinning it. But I just think the spin just disperses it just perfectly. So awesome. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a like. 
please share it with a friend and do please subscribe. It's completely free. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Carol Berglund here. So here is the dried result. And this is my Dutch pour and spin. It turned out okay. I, I do like it, but I I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep it or pour over it. Not sure what I'm going to name it. It is lavender, lavender and sage coloring. So I'd, let me just give you a little spin around. It did produce really great lacing. And this white here is where I really got in and blew it. And I actually think I exposed a little bit of the canvas. I could varnish it and it would be fine, but again, not sure I'm going to keep this one, but it was fun to make, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you like it, give it a like, share it. Please subscribe to Carol's Art Creations. Thank you. Bye-bye.